hello welcome to my youtube channel matlab and rtlf in this video we'll do a uh, simulation of a pv solar system uh, and mppt or pno based algorithm okay uh, for pv solar system so whoever coming to my channel first time i will request you please subscribe this channel your subscription will motivate me to make more videos like this so thank you for that and click on the bell icon also so <clears throat> let's see first some calculation and uh, okay for this one okay for this model so if for mppt PO, pno algorithm there is flowchart is there you can see okay you can pause the video and you can uh, see it nicely and design specification for the pv system is also here okay the uh, input voltage output voltage rate power everything is there and boost for boost converter designing of that boost converter also output current input current capacitor volt uh, capacity everything is there and pv array rating is also here so, and let's increase some brightness let me increase yeah. and for calculation of power of pv array that uh, equation you can uh, with this equation you can calculate power and voltage at also output voltage uh, maximum voltage into number of parallel module connected <clears throat> so we have used 47 and 10 okay we'll show uh, I, I'll show you those, those things so I'll show you every block uh, what I have used uh, okay so first uh, I have selected this one power guy 1e minus 0 0.6 okay so it, uh, these things are like simple you just double click here P O W E R power guy it will come okay it is simple and E radiation is 1000 e radiation is added you can uh, use uh, means whatever you want or variable e radiance also you can use with uh, um, so many other blocks are there you can use that one also for that and temperature is 25 degree celsius temperature is used and this pv array you can simply search like this pv array it will come okay so not differently this pv array is de designed because we are concentrating more on this uh, pno and boost converter only here so let me show you pv array specification also so look here 47 parallel string and 10 series connected modules per string okay is used and you have to change this one this setting array 25 degree and specified irradiation irradiation is specified you can use as your wish i have used here 1500 and 100 means it will vary and you can plot here so it will show you the graph at maximum power voltage how much it's x to 90 and y is almost 100 kilowatt yeah there is a current also you can see like that x y value 290 and 345 voltage and current value and other things you can select so many others here also in module so many it's like you can't count how many is there you have to search in uh, i don't know actually how many is there you have to search in google so many 
modules are there and this looks uh, nicely like cell per module 60 open circuit voltage short circuit voltage and everything is there okay after that this one is bus selector okay just here select bus selector and bus creator 2 is there bus selector this one if you have any kind of uh, means confusion how this V P V can I P V can means you can comment in comment box. Uh, look, uh, double click on this and whatever signal are coming from there, it is already there. Okay, suppose you want to add this temperature. Click on temperature and select. Look here temperature came so i don't need it i will not apply it okay i will just remove click on it i will just remove it i don't need it apply okay okay so uh, that is how this v p v and i p v signal came here and let's go first here this series rlc branch series rlc branch rc only i have selected you have, you can select here like that whatever you want rc selected and resistance you can see here how much it's used and this same R, uh, rlc branch from there i have selected only inductance l okay you can see select it here look and 1.25 e minus 3 value is used yeah and one diet IGBT diode and this one will come from there we'll show you later and this capacitor here 4000 E minus 6 here you will get those values here here capacitor look here capacitor value for boost converter this one na. look for boost converter 4000 microfarad Yeah. So this one is current measurement and resistance one upon this load uh, the here output value depends of this solar okay whatever load you can add here you will just need to see here this value here for actual output here this output it varies with the resistance value load value so this one is load connected here here one voltage minus measurement system is connected and these are scope you know already and let's go to here so with this single one unit delay here connected there is one unit delay connected initial condition 0 sample term minus 1 and this MATLAB function okay so this MATLAB it is I think you can't see it nicely or can you see it nicely comment in comment box if you have any doubt or wait I'll show you this PNO algorithm here I have it I will try to add it in comment uh, details of this video you can check there I will try to add let's see I can add or not is it visible now nicely I think it's visible maybe function v reference uh, that, that one that same this thing here pno algorithm flowchart one that one is written here in coding okay matlab coding here you can pause it you can see it nicely if you have any doubt you can comment in comment box or you can contact me my email id and phone number uh, whatsapp number will be in details section okay after that let's go one add is added you can just type add 
right you can change whatever you want here rectangular you can make it round these are fun here using matlab you can uh, do design here with this hey what you do now wait 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 look how it will come now look it changed position so it's fun little bit for me for you don't know how is it and here uh, PID controller is used so let's see specification of this also so uh, look here yeah, 0 0.001 0 0.01 initialization nothing output situation limit and source internal upper limit 0 0.95 lower limit nothing anti window method is clamping method okay nothing else to change here also uh, e. how you can add this pi look you can search pid pid controller it will come and go to it and you can change from here look controller I controller P controller whatever you want P I controller I have selected like that okay only so let's delete it if you want this model also you can uh, contact me with my email address and whatsapp number it will be given in details section of this video feel free to contact if you want it want this model and one repeating sequence here okay so time values 0 to 1 by 5000 and output value 0 to 1 and here one relational operator so get out the equal to 0 it's yeah you can change it like that whatever you want okay just simple thing you can use whatever you need and one go to block here go to block just i don't know you are good or bad with matlab go to block so i am like you can change here name you can uh, change the visibility of local or global if you need it uh, to make it global when you uh will transfer this value to any other subsystem in means other subsystem is any subsystem created here in this model only in that time you have to make a global that go to block from block so go to block so here is one product use for this output to look here no. you don't need these things and anything else yeah here one gain is used okay uh, one by one thousand so that's all i think let's simulate it or is there any specification and uh, for it with modeling let's go to model setting starting time fix uh, variable step and solver you can select solver this one is selected here so many solver are there okay so nothing else to do here so let's simulate this one run run ah look this result here up output result is coming near 100 almost 100 here let's see we can see here voltage current everything here almost 100 kilowatt is coming yeah so it will be here uh, it is there 100 100 100 yeah rated power 100 kilowatt okay you can see here here yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you.
you can modify this also with ism filter okay so this so this model is uh, is working nicely it's get giving expected result also okay 100 kilowatt and here also it but this output depends on load if you change this load value it will change this output here okay so anything else any confusion this is like on very simple model i think you need uh, this coding specially you can contact me for uh, that okay this coding you can contact me for that in through whatsapp or mail i will send you if you need this or maybe you can pause it and you can write it down nicely so that's it for today if you are getting any little bit of help i'll request you to subscribe this channel <laughs> so most of the viewers are like not subscribing so i'm I need subscriber also so this motivate me to make some videos also so please subscribe and like also if you are getting help share also with your friends if they need uh, solution this kind of so thank you guys so that's it for today